The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. I once felt pity for the Circle. Now I'd like nothing more than to wipe their taint off the face of Thedas. I won't let this happen again. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talbashoth. The Winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman. Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. The boy will be home soon enough. Declare it if you like, but the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them, on the Wounded Coast.
And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? Sounds like he doesn't want to go with you. Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Then we ready ourselves. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. Never loved, never coddled. You were worth his time, or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this Ashard. I met him soon after their ship founded. I had run again to escape the keep and my father. Ashard was to map the coast. To find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son. Bound by everything that means. Ashard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess, I'm not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand. But it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashard is dead. It's not right. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. 
Allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Excellency. He fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. No problems to speak of, aside from the crowd that tried to kill us. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. There is no middle ground. It sounds like you've both been hard-headed. That is quite enough. My apologies, Excellency, for this intrusion into personal matters. There is no... Just move. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone is jumped outside your door, and that's exciting. It must be the alien age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get... lost. Do you miss the Dalish? I miss her and Pival stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful, even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. Are you feeling lost here, Meryl? A bit. But... I'll adjust. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. My eyes are up here. But the chest hair... Do you know how much I suffer under your gaze? I am a person, not an object. Uh, Varric? <laughs> Just shitting you. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. Useless. Why are we still paying those slugouts? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. She's your wife, not a dog. <laughs> At least a dog could be trained. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have... <clears throat> done something to her even if well i just want to make sure they know i didn't do it you're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her ninette keeps the company of other men huh? and makes no secret of it i'll be better off with her gone <sighs> well as long as her family knows i had nothing to do with it they would ruin me otherwise you don't care that Nanette might be hurt or dead. You sicken me. You have never lived with her. It wasn't always like this. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dream those years. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's a wrong doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. 
How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. Interesting place. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, kitten. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. The merchandise is up front. I well, won't sack. mention this to your mother if Madame you don't. Give a rat sack about your brat. She pays me a copper every time I kiss the little bastard. <laughs> Welcome to the Blooming Rose. Personally, I wouldn't say it's blooming precisely, but the name's not my choice. He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. All Asian, darling. You get used to it. Get out of the lady thing. Do you really like saying that? Like it? I love it. The salt spray on my face. The wind whipping by my ears. The gulls screaming overhead. I love it all. Oh, don't you get sick? I was so sick on our trip across the sea. Were you in the hold? Everyone was in the hold. There's your problem. You need to be up on deck, under the sky, nothing between you and the horizon. Sailing is like sex. Do it wrong and it'll make you sick. But do it right and there's no feeling in the world like it. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Oh, I like him. He reminds me of someone. He does? Who is it? I'll tell you when you're older, Daisy. Jafar, have you seen Ninette lately? Ninette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Ghislaine knew about you and Ninette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her, and he doesn't have the balls for it. Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> Anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime.
I thank you, Sirrah, for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. Just the person I was looking for. I need to speak with you about Ninette. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Why did you even bother? This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed. Drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected. And I suspect foul play is involved. Mages routinely flee the circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked? Doesn't the Circle use phylacteries to keep track of its mages? We followed her phylactery to a foundry, but found nothing. I had heard of sympathizers smuggling mages through Darktown, so came here hoping to pick up the trail. But no trace of Merrin. And as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. People don't just disappear. Perhaps they were murdered or kidnapped. We found no bodies, no ransom notes. Those women just vanished. Have you mentioned any of this to the city guard? They say there's no proof the disappearances are connected. They think the women just left home. That it happens all the time. Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Sirrah. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry in Lowtown. I should look into that. Nasty feeling about this place. You can survive without a hand. This doesn't mean anyone's dead. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Ghislaine. It might belong to Nanette. you run your fingers through it if you want your chest hair my fingers oh varick stop you're making me quiver you know you want to oh i do i can't resist you no woman can i know the terrible burden you might want to see this 
This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. This isn't over. I'm going to get the bastard that did this. I know how you feel, Sirrah. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. I've never met a dwarf before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic? Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever your. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? Just know that she will not return. It's better this way. Our marriage has been in shambles for more than a decade. I'll send the ring to her family. If luck, it will appease them. Thank you for all your help, Sarah. Make her watch over. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? A chance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. It's not always fun in games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates. And it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. You're a woman? Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get... frustrated. I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? Ah, oh, Meryl. What? Did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. 
Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Monsieur. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order, and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough, or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirpal. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy! Were it that easy? <laughs> Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! God preserve us. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. But I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I have been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmot was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully... convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilmot's. Do you know where Karen is? 
He also disappeared. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Do you need something, honey? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen... Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the Tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmot's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Back again? Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? I'm sorry to say that Nanette was killed. Killed? Why would anyone hurt that darling woman? This is horrible. Thank you for letting me know. Please... Please excuse me. Iduna, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. Stop playing dumb. Answer my question. Oh, we like it rough, do we? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? Yes, yes. But certainly there's no harm mixing a little business and pleasure. I'm here on business. Karen. Wilmot. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will not be toyed with. How did you... Oh, shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from... elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, Monsieur. Please don't kill me. You're going to answer all my questions, and if there's even a hint of magic... Tarani put me here, to send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Karen weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. 
It was all Tarani's idea. Tell me about Tarani. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours, how many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That, that's all I know. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. Next stop, the Sanctuary. And some answers. We're going to just waltz in here and fight dozens of blood mages. Ourselves. All right, I'm game. Wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. This demon worship thing is a real turn-off. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar, any noble, any well-meaning meddler. If you turn yourself in now, the Templars may spare your life. The Templars! We will destroy their entire pathetic order. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. <laughs> Is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Meryl, you know something about this. Is he possessed? I don't know. It's... it's clean. There's no scent of demons in his blood. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. 
I guess it's back to the wretched gallows. Personally, I could do without blood mages or Templars. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. The... demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Mages have been systematically abused by the Templars for a thousand years. How can you say that after what you've seen? Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. Mages are humans and elves, just like the rest of us. Many might go their whole lives thinking that. But if even one in ten falls to the lure of blood magic, they could destroy this world. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. <laughs>